Watch your folks, we're back doing a classic, if you can call this a classic. This time we're on a 2004 Yamaha FJR 1300. Loads of you have asked me to give this one a go, so I have. This is what I think. Welcome back to the channel folks, you know what's happened. If you have seen the Honda CBR600F video, you know that I deleted an SD card before I took the footage off. That also applies to this video. So all the beauty shots that I did, the pieces, the camera, all that sort of stuff, it has all gone. Do my best to pitch it all back together. Massive thanks to the Missenden Flyer, to Andy for letting me use some of his beauty shots from his FGR vid. I'll leave links down below. Make sure you check that out if you haven't as yet. Andy, you're a lifesaver. Anyway folks, on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. So, the 2004 Yamaha FJR 1300. What's it actually like to ride then? Well, the FJRs a little bit like GS's. They have a very devoted fan club. People love them, but they're also hated. I don't know why. It might have something to do with the fact that a lot of police forces use the FJR. So it has that stigma around it. If you're not into the old bill or anything like that. And I tell you, straight away, as soon as you get on one of these, you ride, you ride in two ways. You either ride bolt upright like this, and you feel, you feel like a copper. You sort of feel a little bit, dare I say, superior, you know? Almost nose in the air. It puts you in that position where you're just buffeted by this lovely big screen. Nice big 25 litre tank, nice wide handlebars, but not overly wide. It is a very firm and secure and comforting, reassuring ride, this. Suspension feels lovely, soaks everything up. It's just a plush ride. But this is a, it's a transverse four-cylinder box, 1300cc. It's a lump of an engine, this, folks. So, as with pretty much all four-cylinder bikes, you drop the gear, smash the revs up, and this thing becomes a weapon and then you ride in the other type of style you can hunch down and really give it some although probably not oh blimey not in these roads because they are incredibly greasy dubby slidey and there is a lot of wildlife out today i've seen loads of pheasants suicidal pheasants in terms of kit on the bike i thought it came with heated grips but i can see this has got aftermarket Oxford ones fitted. I think they do actually, well, I suppose the more, more modern ones would come with heated grips. Uh, you've got analog rev counter, you've got analog speedo, very easy to read. It's got a fuel gauge, thankfully, on this one. Trip computer, clock, everything like that. Controls are all very nice and easy to get to, standard, no issues there at all. It's all felt very sort of natural to me. The screen, this great big beautiful screen, well, it's electric, so you can raise and lower, lower and raise higher at your will. Oh, I hope I'm just throwing that camera off. Maybe I need to raise that a bit so you can see me. Hiya! Am I in the Nationals yet? I'm not sure. This is a five-speed box, and this is a shaft drive. Now, out on the open road, I think I'm in the Nationals. I think we are. Safety kick on. Yeah, that power delivery is lovely and smooth. Out on the open road, in the town when I was leaving Swindon earlier, it felt a little bit snatchy. Now, to me, it felt like it was through the drive shaft. That felt quite clunky. So not the actual throttle. The throttle feels nice, but the actual delivery to the drive shaft felt quite clunky, clunky to me. Might just be this bike. This bike's got uh, just under 46,000 miles on it. And at Budget Bikes UK in Swindon, this is currently going for three and a half grand. It's 2004 Yamaha FJR 1300. It's advertised for 45,000. It's now got, as I'm riding on it now, uh, 45,779 on the clock for th just under three and a half grand. Now, FJRs, if you've never ridden one before, 
The first thing that I noticed as soon as I sat on an FDR was how thick the grips feel. I don't, I don't know why, but they just feel thicker than a normal bike. And it's actually quite nice to ride. I like it. This reminds me of the BMW RT. I rode one on my um, old police course. Nationals! Ooh. That is lovely power delivery through third. Very smooth. That's nice. Third gear is a very nice gear in this, actually. You can roll off the throttle and you've got quite a bit of engine braking there if you need it, but it's not like it's not like hitting a big massive wall, you know, when you roll off the throttle. Woo! It's not like that. It's nice and smooth, linear. Yeah, you just feel like you're gliding along on this. I suppose that's exactly what a sport tourer is supposed to feel like. Well, that's what this feels like. Very much like the RTs, the BMW RTs. It's a nice, commanding, comfortable, dominant road position. You know, you can see everything in front of you. The mirrors are great. The mirrors allow for quite a, a lot of vision right behind you, actually. This is very nice. Where's this? Wow. Oh, I see. Very pleasant. Quite quaint. I think this is Marlborough. It's very nice. Tell you what, I'm blooming boiling. I'm trying out these new Kais or Kies heated gloves. And I tell you what, folks, they're very good. <laughs> My hands are boiling. It was properly cold this morning. Hit three degrees at one point. When will I see you again? Sorry. Um, it hit three degrees at, at one point this morning when I was on the tractor coming over here and even in like the red mode that they're currently in which is the hottest one to be honest they didn't quite do it at motorway speeds at that sort of temperature you know you're three four degrees in the winter it took the chill off but it didn't keep your hands toasty warm however at the moment it must be a good nine eight nine something like that and i'm trundling around the towns my hands are sweating <laughs> but more to come on the keys heated, on the case, keys, case, on these gloves. Soon. 50s. The bike itself is a heavy old lump. It's 295 kilograms wet. So nearly 300 kilograms. That's heavier than a GS. That's heavier than a GS Adventure. Handles lovely through these faster bends. Just effortless power. Oh, that power's beautiful. This thing would have no problem seeing off. Certainly most cars on the road. This has 100 and 145 horsepower and 125, I think it is, Newton meters of torque. And peak torque on this is around the 6,000 revs mark. So this has got a bit more, well, this has got quite a bit more grunt than your sort of standard inline four engine. I like this engine, it's nice. It's almost the best of both worlds. It's still got a lot of pull high up, but it's got quite a bit low down as well. It feels like it's quite long in the power delivery, you know, from low revs all the way through to high revs. This thing will keep pulling. Yeah, it's nice this. I'm liking this. I can see the appeal, people. I can see the appeal. Brakes feel lovely. I do like them. Sort of reassuring from the moment you make contact with the lever till you finish your braking, it's just, it's there. It just feels like it's giving you the braking that you want. I find some bikes, the initial bite can be good, but then it, the brakes just seem to fade away. And then other times there's no bite, and then all of a sudden it comes on. It's, this is very nice. For a 16 year old bike, we're on some proper grotty, horrible, slidey roads here. And there's a lot of weight between this bike and me. I've been down some proper scratchy little backcountry lanes. And the brakes, beautiful. Very confidence inspiring. Nice. So, what's it like for getting a lick on? Oh, blimey folks, that was a close one. I had one of the GoPros on a suction mount on the right, lower right hand fairing to get a nice view of the front wheel. It's been rock solid, no problems at all, all day, never had an issue with that. And then I just looked down up here, 
No, no GoPro. Oh my god, no! Oh yeah, those brakes, those brakes are good. That was a last minute, suddenly I remembered I do a left here. I'm really enjoying this ride, folks. I can really see the attraction people have with this bike. I imagine touring two up is quite an enjoyable experience on this, especially places like Germany and France. Those beautiful, fast flowing roads they have in places there. I think top speed of this is somewhere in the 170, 180 mile an hour mark. Oh, it's only half three. It's getting dark. These are lovely little villages around here. Beautiful places. Nationals! You got your Nationals t-shirt yet, folks? Tag me. If you're on Instagram, post up the pictures and tag me in them. Stories, whatever you're doing, just tag me in. Let me see you. And I'll share them as well. The design of them, if you look at the... That's the speed limit sign. In case you haven't figured that out yet. If you look at the holes, they're supposed to be bullet holes. I don't know if you've, any of you have figured that out yet. Just because on my travels, it seems like everywhere except down here, certainly up in Scotland you'll see it, but in a lot of other countries, whenever you see a speed limit sign or any roadside sign, <laughs> it's been shot. <laughs> Someone's had a go at it. That throttle's lovely and smooth. It's just a big whoosh of power. This is such a nice bike to ride. Ah, now you see a lot of these stones right here. This is, uh, we're just near Avebury. Avebury? Avebury? Something like that. And there's loads of these stones everywhere. There's one right at the side of the road there, look. They're everywhere. Some of them are massive. If anyone knows what they're about, please let me know. There you go, look. Wow all around there and all down here what's occurring what's this here so the 2004 yamaha fjr 1300 the bike is really comfortable i see what all the fuss is about now fjrs are very popular with People like coppers, emergency services, uh, surveillance. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I didn't say that. And I can see why. Because they sort of deliver pretty much everything for the road, really. It's effortless speed. It really is. It's beautifully smooth in its power delivery. It's a comfortable place to be. The pegs are a really nice height. They're not too high, not too low. The bars a nice distance, about shoulder width distance apart. It's a nice, nice place to be in the cockpit of that bike. The screen, that electric screen, as you kick it up, you can really tailor it to exactly where you need it for you, for your own size and height and build. And you can pretty much create, even at, you know, motorway speeds and more, you can create a, a sort of turbulent free place for you to just sit. I'm sitting there with my visor up and I'm not getting any wind buffeting into my eyes. It's, it's a lovely place to be, it really is. Hasn't got as much low down grunt as I like. I prefer, as we know, your parallel twins, your triples, your Vs, those sort of things. But I tell you, it's a nice bike for three and a half grand. Okay, it's not in fantastic condition, but it's got 45,000 miles on the clock. The engine feels beautiful. Seat height wise, start the lowest it'll go is 805 millimeters. So pretty much anyone will be able to sit on that bike, although it is very heavy. You know, it's just a shade under 300 kilograms. So if you are slightly more vertically challenged than others this could be quite a big heavy beast for you to manhandle around but again once you start moving you don't feel it in the slightest so folks all in yamaha fjr 1300 if you're after a fast comfortable smooth power delivery bike that will let you take luggage and a pillion munch up the miles and enjoy not only the fast flowing roads but some 
fairly tight twisty stuff as well then you could do a lot worse than cast your eye over one of these all in dead impressed really do like it if you're interested in this bike get yourself on budget bikes uk website i think budget bikes have got this one up for about three and a half so check out the stock and see what takes your fancy all right folks that'll do us for this week keep on doing your thing get on out there look after those that you love but most importantly most importantly live your life Ooh -ah. not sure if i'm in the nationals not seen any repeaters anywhere. Oh, hello, repeaters. Mm. And then I've got the side cam. Oh, shit. Shit.